a mass mission. As you all are aware, India has created history by being the first Asian country and the fourth in the world to have launched a satellite to the red planet. Today, our distinguished guests are here to have an interactive session with the students of Hiranandani Foundation School Thani. Our students have a lot of questions on their minds about the mass mission and our learned speakers are here to answer and demystify the phenomenon of mom. We will now initiate the discussion by inviting Dr. M. Bias Prasad to give us a brief overview of the mission. Thank you. Welcome everybody. We all are here to discuss the success story of mom and share the picture sent by Mangalyan of Mars. Mangalyan was launched on 5th November 2013 and is orbiting Mars since 24th September 2014. That's a big achievement. So, Mangalyan was launched using a PSLV and it uses its own thrusters to get into highly elliptical orbit of the Earth and by taking advantage of the orbit effect, it placed itself in trans-Mars trajectory. The total cost of this mission was 454 crore, which is way less than many Hollywood movie budgets. So, this is about Mangalyan in a nutshell. Thank you. I would like to throw open the discussion to the students. Yes, sir. My name is Raga Bindwal and I am from Standard 6. I heard you say the term PSLV, but I don't know what it is. Can you please tell it to me? The PSLV is the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle, which was developed and operated by ISRO. It allowed India to launch its Indian Remote Sensing satellites into sun-synchronized orbits. This was the reason it was used. Next. Hello everyone, my name is Sartha Khandelwa and I am from Standard 11. I would like to know the main objectives of this mission. The primary objective of this mission was to showcase India's rocket launching system, to look for life on Mars, to look for presence of methane on Mars. We also wanted to study the Mars surface, Mass, Environment, Mineralogy, etc. Anyone else? Good morning. My name is Jeet Savadeka and I am from Standard 7. Could you show us some pictures sent by Mangalyan? Yes, we have a few pictures of Mars sent by Mangalyan. This is a picture of Phobos. This is the largest of the two national satellites that orbit around Mars. This is a Mars which has a red globe. These are the active dust storms in the northern hemisphere of Mars. Uh, these are the craters in the Martian surface. Uh, these are some of the. Uh, these are a few pictures which we have got, and we are expecting many more. To Good morning. I am Gary Rodin of Planet B. I have a question that while giving us an overview of the Mangalyan project, you mentioned the term orbit effect. So can you please tell me what is the orbit effect? Orbit effect simply explains how a rocket engine is more efficient at harnessing its fuel when it is moving at a high speed. So when at its closest point to the Earth, if an orbiter receives sufficient impulse, it will have a greater change in its velocity. So the bipropylent combination of monomethyl hydrazine and dihydrogen tetroxide will help it achieve the thrust that is necessary, making the propellant use minimum. The next question. Good morning. My name is Emmanuel Williams and I'm from Standard 9. As we all know, the GSLV is more powerful than the PSLV, but we opted for the PSLV. Can you please explain why? ISRO initially planned to use the GSLV but scaled down its plans due to two back to back failures of the GSLV. Therefore, the weight of the mass orbiter was reduced to allow its launch using the PSLV. Moreover, the mission became a cost-efficient one as the PSLV has a lower unit payload cost. Would anybody else like to ask the question? Good morning, I am Yomi Joshi from the 9th standard. Well, I have a question. Are there any signs of life on the red planet? Well, till now, no vegetation has yet been found on Mars. But since Mangalyan has been installed with methane sensors, we are looking forward to we are looking forward to some positive results to emerge out soon. And for the last and final question. Good morning, sir. My name is Priya Shamanti and I am from Standard 5. And I would like to know how how much distance did the Mangalyan travel to reach the Mars orbit? Well, the Mars Orbiter traveled a distance of 680 million kilometers before reaching Mars over a time span of 300 days, which is almost a year. With that, we have come to the conclusion of this highly interesting.
informative session. We would like to thank our distinguished guests for sparing their valuable time to be with us and sharing their profound knowledge. We wish you luck in all your future endeavors. Put India in the forefront of global space research and look forward to having you with us again.